Hey guys, we've got uh, two laptops here with us today, Surface Laptop 2 and 3. Um, just a side by side to see whether like any major difference. Yeah, so on the new one you can, it's a similar, very similar build. Um, so we'll put one on top of the other just to give you a quick illustration. We've got the black version, so if you can see the antenna line is gone here and on the other side as well. Port has some new USB-C port, no Thunderbolt 3, we'll come back to this later. Um, looks fairly similar. And the uh, antenna line again is gone, so design-wise it's quite similar. To give you a little bit context of the comparison, so the MacBook 13 hasn't been refreshed, so you can see the footprint is a little bit smaller, but then it also feels quite substantial. Uh, so yeah, it's 13.5 versus 13.3. I think the Microsoft it has a slightly different aspect ratio, so that's what's really noticeable in terms of size. But um, if you were using Mac, it's quite um, quite a different usage case usually. So as you can see, um, quite um, noticeable. If we look on the inside of this laptop, it's actually quite nice in the sense that you finally have the metal option. So I really, really like this. In the old one, the Kentaro, finish, the soft fabric finish, it was a little bit, um, it's down to personal preference, but I just really prefer something that it can be easily cleaned. The metal version is only available on the next up model from the base, so it's not available on the cheapest one. Um, it definitely changes the looks and feels of the laptop. One thing to note is whether it might wear off quickly, so it's, if you can see, it's, there's already some wears on the palm rest, so over time you could see some paint wear, but that's possibly preferable to um, getting the Acton Tower where. Um, okay, so if we just put one literally on top of it, the other, so we're looking at the trackpad here. So the trackpad was already quite large, I think, before, but now it's a little bit, um, a little bit larger. Microsoft says it's 20% larger. In terms of the, um, the gestures, um, it feels, just feels a little bit more reassuring. Um, it's, um, we're probably not comparing like for like, but it just feels smooth and a little bit more refined than the old one. Okay, so if we um, move them on the side, you can already see some um, fingerprint. Um, this, no Thunderbolt 3, but it's finally USB-C, so it's, um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a strange product choice. It could be because more of the users currently using this um, don't really necessarily need to connect it to um, external graphics or something similar, but it would certainly have been useful to have the Thunderbolt 3. The other change is Intel's some first mainstream 10 nanometer processor, so CPU probably similar performance as the last gen. It's more efficient, 18% IPC performance uplift, but the frequency is not as high, so overall they work quite similarly as the last generation. What has probably noticeably changed is um, the Intel Iris graphics in this is quite a bit more powerful. It's almost equivalent to the AMD Vega integrated graphics, so that's quite nice, and performance-wise, looking at reviews online, it's almost similar to the um, the MX250, so that's quite nice. Just quickly take a look. Oh yes, and finally you have the Wi-Fi 6, so that's also quite nice. That's what, it, what I was going to show you, so the Intel Iris um, graphics, quite a bit better than before. On Lenovo and some of the other brand, you certainly have begun to see the 4K options and also HDR um, 400 options, um, whereas this one, I think the main selling point is a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Display, it's um, quite good and um, just a usual display that you can expect from the surface. But I think generally loading documents or going online, having that extra screen real estate, it just feels quite a bit more relaxed. It almost feels like this is the way it's supposed to go. Surface Laptop 2 and Surface Laptop 3. So on the Surface Laptop 3, you can see it's a little bit warmer in the color temperature on the right. And the one on the left is actually strangely preferable. Um, I think this is because most laptop manufacturers, they use some different sourced panels. So I guess if you do get the laptop, maybe just make sure you calibrate it out of the box. So that's probably the simplest option. I think that's the black feels a little bit blacker and um, um, this one is still, is, as you can see, it's a little bit warmer. It's um, red, a little bit more bright on the Surface Laptop 2. Um, a also a little bit brighter on the two. Um, 
obviously your panel will probably vary. Um, we've um, pre-calibrated these two. As you can see on this side, it's definitely visibly a little bit warm. But I mean, each laptop, their screen varies, so it's um, hard to extrapolate too much into these. But yeah, as you can see, it's quite a bit more warm. So we probably need to recalibrate that. Compared Surface Laptop 2 to Surface Laptop 3, this is almost an incremental improvement on paper. And in person, for me, it's um, a lot of small things add up quite noticeably. So the metal polymerize, I mean, without it, I mean, personally, I probably wouldn't consider Surface Laptop, but with it, I think it's super useful now. It's just more compelling. Um, trackpad, add it together, it's just really good mix. Speaker, it's not have really changed that much since last generation. Still gives you very decent sound. It's quite amazing what you can get in a laptop this thin and light. And so this is a slightly interesting bit. As you can see, you can't get the metal on the base model. It has to be the next model up. Only difference is 128 extra SSD. Um, but the price, it's, I mean, compared to the original price, it's 270 pounds difference. And again, similar margin on that. I mean, it's, wow. Um, it's quite a noticeable bump with the i7 and 1 terabyte, etc. The price just goes um, quite high up quite quickly. So I think Microsoft is the only one selling the Surface, so one can certainly understand. But I think um, to charge somebody this much difference for 1 to 8, it definitely does, um, it's a noticeable cost. Okay, um, so Wi Fi, Wi Fi 6, um, fast charge when it's off. Um, it just seems quite quite a well-rounded um, laptop. It's just perhaps, perhaps it's how Windows is um, supposed to be. If you were to think about the 15-inch, um, these are actually, this is probably for a different video, but the 15-inch ver version has um, both Intel and AMD option. It's just um, AMD option is a consumer-facing one. Intel, if you wanted to get that, you have to go through Microsoft's um, business store. Otherwise, um, the option is not there. But yeah, it's... Um, from looking at Microsoft's marketing, it's just really so simple and um, it's marketed as you know Core i5, Core i7. Um, they don't show you the five-digit Intel product code for their processors, so it's um, reassuring to know that this will work. Um, this is um, their version of a laptop, how a laptop should be, just for the nice and simple things. So it's, it's actually quite a refined product. Anyway, thank you for watching.